Well, good okay. morning, good afternoon, good evening around the world. I am so excited to be with all of you today at our Zealous Super Saturday Star Trek Star Wars tour of our photobioreactor facility. And we're logging in today together with our fantastic Executive Vice President Jimmy Wan over in Luxembourg, together with Tino Bacheta over in our Spain photobioreactor facility. Guys, you know how excited all of us are here in the, in the beautiful Zealous family to be able to see exactly how the technology and the magic happens over at our facility. So without any further ado, I'm gonna turn the, the training today and our special Zoom tour over to Jimmy Wan, our executive vice president who is calling in from Luxembourg. So with that, Jimmy, over to you. Okay, thank you so much, Anne. And uh, thank you just to join this, uh, this training. For me, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, as you notice that my um, English is not my mother tongue uh, language. So um, I do appreciate if you do not understand something, just please raise your hand or whatever. So just to give you some, uh, a quick overview, you know, when I was a child, uh, I was born in a, in a French island. Um, and it's true that when you, you have the, uh, you are born in an island, you know, that this means that uh, you, you, you see nature, you know, all the day you see ocean. And uh, uh, when I arrived in Europe, you know, for, uh, for my uh, university level, etc., I, I start to realize that, uh, that we were fortunate when you were born in an island, you know, and it's true that today we are facing a huge uh, challenge regarding nutrition, regarding what will be the future of uh, health in, 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 in globally, because now we, uh, we have this situation that uh, we all know that uh, it's something uh, that was unexpected. But when I was uh, with Tino many times, we were just discussing about uh, uh, the way we can improve you know, health uh, through uh, this new technology and our mission today is uh, we, we do know that the the future will be with algae there's no doubt that the future of nutrition uh, should be and is going to be with algae the more we learn about algae technology the less we understand how those uh, those algae that uh, uh, how those tiny cells how these micro algae works to bring us such a, a great product and it's true that right now, when we compare, and you're going to see uh, the facility, it's true that we, right now, we are facing some big challenge in, in the world because uh, maybe you have heard about Spirina. Maybe some of you already uh, take some uh, uh, supplement, food supplement based on Spirina of other food. But right now, because of the open environment where we have uh, many risks uh, because of chemical contamination, uh, the air that we breathe, you know, uh, risk of microbial contamination, uh, that's something that was not uh, real, you know, maybe 30, 40, 50 years ago, but right now it's something that we have to face and we have to find solution. So when we discuss with Tino about how we can manage this and what will be uh, the future, uh, we do think that uh, the future will be with closed environment, what we call vertical farming, uh, which means that we need today with the technology to be able to grow um, spirina that is, uh, maybe you have uh, heard about it already, you know, that it's classified as a superfood because of the nutrients that it brings to our body. But you will see through this tool that uh, uh, we have designed and these have taken uh, something like seven years of research and development and Tino will present you through this tour you know uh, why this is so exciting and why today you can for sure you know when you're going to take your product uh, be sure that not only you you're going to have a, a clean product uh, that give you the guarantee that everything that you are taking from our product is safe but beside of this we can guarantee each production that the quality you know because somehow when you uh, produce something you don't know you know when you depend on external condition which is air sunlight or whatever your quality is you know each time you produce something 
you have something like this, maybe this is okay, next it's like this, or which batch is like this. So you do not monitor. And through uh, a correct management and through uh, today uh, intelligence, because you will see that Tino will present you the, the brain of uh, the, the photo directors that allowed us to <clears throat> really create some fantastic product. And, uh, and for you who have already tasted, I mean, it's, uh, we know that we have great product, but we, uh, we're going to pay attention and more innovation and more uh, product development in the future. So having said this, I, will, uh, uh, I want to introduce you uh, this gentleman. His English is perfect because he's, uh, he's English. So, he, uh, um, so he, his mother is from uh, Italy and, and his father from, uh, from, uh, uh, from England. So he speaks perfectly uh, English, but you will see that Tino is a, it's a real man passionate about what he's doing, you know. He's the father of this technology. And since we were working to the, together, I learned from him that passion brings to some magic things and what uh, he had created through all his uh, science and the way he, he wanted to take care of uh, the, the microalgae. You will see through this uh, tool that we are just like, as uh, Anne said before, just like if you are in a spaceship, you know, and just like if you are on board of the enterprise, you know, of the Star Trek uh, spaceship. So, you know, uh, if you can just, I don't see if you are here, Tino, are you there? I don't see. I'm here, can you see me? Yes, I can see you. So Tino, uh, please, without any uh, uh, taking care more, more time, can you just explain, you know, why this uh, facility is so uh, fantastic? Okay, thanks, uh, thanks, Jimmy. And uh, it's a real pleasure to be here with, uh, with everyone today. Um, I think the best thing is to show everyone and explain how we start from a very small, and I say small, nine microns actually, which is tiny, you can't even see it without a microscope, how we develop the strain to naturally develop it to give all the nutrition that is actually uh, encompassed in all of the Zealous uh, product. And unfortunately, uh, one of the things that, that you can't do is actually rely on the ambient, and as you've mentioned, Jimmy, quite correctly, that the climate uh, and the change in climate has, uh, has caused major issues. It will continue to be a major issue as well as contamination. So the idea was to house the technology in its own environment, keeping everything as natural as possible, but also allowing uh, and giving us a technology which is always constantly evolving, a technology that allows to get more out of the algae, i.e. more of the nutritional uh, benefit, which obviously fits uh, different and various products within, uh, within Zealous. So I'm just gonna show you very quickly what the algae should look like, uncontaminated, so just bear with me a second. I'm just gonna turn this around if I can. So here we see uh, Spirulina Maxima. Now Spirulina Maxima is this strain, this is 100 times magnification, and you can see the Spirulina grown in a uh, set environment completely controlled. You can see that the cells here are completely full. There's no contamination in this whatsoever. What you will notice is there's a yellow band down here. This is mainly made up of beta carotene and you've got all the pigmentations here, which is the blue pigment, which is the, uh, that wonderful uh, blue protein, which is uh, obviously in a lot of zealous uh, products. So how do we get that? How do we make this better? Well, I'll just come back. I'll take you over and please, uh, please let me know if I cut off because I'm in the lab. So uh, there may be weak signal, but basically everything starts life from here. So I don't know if you can see that, but that is the evolution effectively of A3 Nat from a standard spirulina. And what do I mean by evolution? It means we took a standard spirulina we built the technology, we made the technology fit around getting the goodness out of the spirulina strain, and therefore a combination of research and development over a number of a further two years after the first seven, uh, and still continuing today, allows us to create bigger and better um, uh, uh, spirulina in, in its most natural form, i.e. an A3 nat formula. Once you comes out of the uh, of that small state, we call that the mother strain after uh, a lot of hard work. 
we then start to scale it. Now, I might cut off in here, but we'll try to do our best. Keep it going. You know, we lose you. I mean, to start off with, really. Yeah. Um, so in there, we take those strains that you saw in those, uh, in those, scale it up. Once it's scaled and scaling from microns to approximately 120 liters uh, full of, uh, of algae, and it's grown under conditions that we set to either get maximum protein, maximum iron, maximum beta carotene, whatever is the, the downstream application, will then get scaled up into the facility. So without further ado, we'll just change this. So here we are in the facility. The scaling, they look like Daleks, but everything is computerized. There isn't any way to grow algae correctly unless it's computerized. So the algae you saw in the clean room will be housed in these. These are 1,200 liters. It scales up and the computer system here will actually allow it to scale up and keep everything uh, normal as far as where the algae is uh, come from and where it will eventually go to, i.e. the ultimate product. So based on that, everything stays the same. There's no variation. So because it's indoors and it's computer controlled, then basically we have a stable algae that uh, is grown from start to finish without any form of uh, issue regarding ambient temperature, sunlight, etc., etc., which is detrimental. So once it's scaled, we come over to the bioreactor system. This bioreactor system is literally half as long as a football pitch, I guess, for the best word to, uh, to give a measurement. But it's under three levels, and each level is growing a slightly different combination to ultimately end up at the end. And why we say that is for the same reasons what I'm going to show you. If you look here, the algae starts very transparent. You can actually see the light through it. It's growing, it's happy. When it gets to its second stage, i.e. it's growing, eventually it becomes a dark green. And from that dark green, it means that it's ready to be extracted. And I'll show you some extraction later on. However, there is a second pass, which allows us to grow the, uh, the particular um, pigment, the protein itself which is the real, uh, the real goodness inside the, uh, the particular strain, or one of them anyway. So instead of using white light that you saw over in, on this side, as you can see, we have red blue lights. Now the red and blue lights is basically, will go into this bioreactor. This bioreactor is now ready to take this for Monday. And therefore this is the bioreactor section that actually grows all of the goodness that's inside that cell basically. So it's a two-step process, but it's continuous. It never, ever stops. How do you do this? Well, like I said, a human can't grow algae as efficient as a computer. If you have to measure 400 uh, times a second uh, what the algae needs, when it needs it, when does it need to feed, is the temperature okay, does it have enough CO2? Well, one thing that climate change has done for us actually is a favor and that is we have a lot more CO2 in, in our air so we pump more air in, we get the CO2 so we're doing our bit for the environment as well, as well and sequestrating the CO2. So all of the good stuff is being made in those bioreactors. Now to control it, like I said, human can't control it. So what do we do? We develop the system where it can be monitored anywhere in the world, fully computerized, and you can see these graphs here. Now these graphs basically, you can see that they're completely flat lines. Why are they flat lines? Because everything is completely stable and therefore there's no variation. Therefore it's growing at a similar rate than it was growing yesterday, the day before, etc., etc. It's something that you can't do outside uh, for sure. You'll notice here, there is a dissolved oxygen. Now, one thing is that algae, through photosynthesis. Photosynthesis basically uh, will take in CO2, will split the CO, the CO, will take the carbon to build more algae, i.e. more bi biomass, and it will expel the oxygen so it gives us good, clean air, basically. However, when you put the system in darkness or 
as it were outside, you would have night and night, uh, day and night cycles. And therefore, if you're growing the algae in a night cycle, guess what? It then expels CO2. So you're losing biomass, basically. So the idea of the system was it was intended to grow with no variation. So you get exactly the same out day on, month in, year in, out of the same quality biomass. And more importantly, fixed with the most, uh, packed with the most nutrients that the algae can get in it because there's only a limitation on the, on the cell size. So part of the research and development, guys, is, is based on how do we get more into that cell? Well, we can change nutrients. Uh, phosphorus is one of them. The phosphorus allows to grow bigger cells and hardier cells, um, and therefore allows us to pack more nutrients uh, in that cell uh, itself. So based on that, it's, uh, it's a system that is completely clean. The water is uh, physically made here. It comes from the mountain, spring water. Obviously, it has to be chlorinated by, by the state to be used. We do dechlorinate that water. We put it through a reverse osmosis. So the water, when it comes out of reverse osmosis, is completely particle free. It is the purest water, literally, on the planet. So the algae is growing in that pure water. It's got no heavy metals. There's no particles. There's no sand particles, no salts. It's a clean, pure water. So the algae's got the best possible start. And one of the things that's very important is that there are no influences here with any uh, you know, light day cycle, any cycle with regards to um, you know, uh, uh, cycle of months. Most times that you can only grow in the hot summer months, but certainly uh, from our point of view, we can grow uh, all year round. And like I said, it is the highest and best quality. So I've got, uh, got something to show you on the process, basically everything is non-mechanical and it's very important that you have non-mechanical. Why? So that you keep all of the cell intact, including all the protein, beta carotenes, vitamins, all intact inside that cell. So here we have a paste. This is a paste, just to smear it on the, on the page here. That paste comes out, naturally comes out, not under pressure, not being pumped. It naturally comes out under its own weight from each level of the bioreactor. So it starts life as a paste. And that paste can be frozen or it can be processed immediately. And what you end up with is you end up with a, a biomass, basically, in a very crude form. That biomass here has all of the goodness inside those cells. And what happens is we can then take those cells mill them so mill in such a way where they're actually they're not milled they're sieved so that you get a complete powder uh, format and from that powder format we can then using natural process which is just basically water allow us to come out and get the raw blue protein so the protein the biomass and the paste where it starts life that's uh, that's directly after it comes out the uh, out the bioreactor there's absolutely no mechanical process, no heat process. And therefore, based on that, how would you grow that in sunlight? You can't. And that's why there's a big difference between the A3 NAT formula, Zealous's products at the end of the day, and what is being uh, sent to the shelves, which are in uh, various different places of the world, spirulina, and uh, you would not get this particular uh, roadmap. You can't achieve that if you grow that outside effectively. So if there's any questions, Jimmy or, or others, then I'll be, be happy to, to answer them unless you, you want me to go further and a bit more technical. You know, thank you so much. I mean, we can see that as you are very passionate as a... Uh, it's as great, a father, it's exciting. You know, we're all passionate <laughs> when we have to describe our children, you know. Um, I just want to, to, uh, to summarize um, because what Tino is trying to uh, uh, transmit to you is that if we look, you know, uh, if we go to a shop, you know, and we buy whatever food supplement or whatever product, how can we ensure that you have a total guarantee that the product you're going to take is not harmful? How are we going to guarantee to the end user that the process itself, you know, brings, you know, um, premium uh, product without uh, uh, deterioration, without um, uh, in the process that, uh, uh, people are, are, are doing to, to create this product, you know, that there's no risks of contamination, no heavy metals. Right now in the water, I don't know in, in, in the US, but in, in Europe, 
uh, heavy metals start to be a real problem in the water, you know, when you will go to your tap water, heavy metal, plastic, uh, microparticle that you have in plastic. Today, it's not a clean water. So the way we can guarantee, because of course you can put, you know, a label that just say, we have, you know, organic or whatever. It's not a guarantee today that the product you're going to take is safe. But not only is safe, is that how can we guarantee if you take a supplement fact, you know, uh, whatever product it is, how can the supplier or the manufacturer can guarantee that what is, is written here, it is what uh, is doing each, uh, each day or each time is producing the product. So if we start to think about that, you know, and we as a company, we, we want to be open because at the end, uh, the, the, with technology today, you can see directly our installation and the, the fact that you can see that this water is just coming from the mountain in Spain, but we need to, to, uh, to clean it to be ensure that the water where the spirulina is going to be grow is a clean water. I mean, I would like to be in this water, to drink this water every day, but the process guarantee itself, you know, a complete safe environment where no contamination, there will be no uh, uncontrolled, you know, uh, pollutants or, or things that should not be here, you know. And if you go and you do some research in internet, you can go and see the different way that uh, uh, people harvest spirulina. You will see that you have a big swimming pool, you know, that this is huge uh, kilometers of, uh, of open space, open place where basically it's a swimming pool where you have water, you know, and they just grow spirulina in it, you know. So how can really uh, just to, I don't like to, to make critique, but how can they ensure that the quality of the spirulina is, because we take a sample from here and we measure it and we say, okay, it's okay, but how can you ensure that everywhere of uh, this open uh, uh, pond, you know, where they grow spirulina, it's safe, it's clean. I mean, from the environment, from the water, from the, from the, the field, how can we ensure that there's no heavy metals contamination? Uh, how can we ensure it? There's no way that we can ensure it. So the only way to ensure that you're going to grow a clean uh, spirulina is what we call vert uh, vertical farming, where you, in all the process, there is no contaminant can, that can bring into the process. And uh, the other things that uh, um, Tino tried to explain is that we can guarantee that each time, because of the process, uh, wait. Uh, is it okay with my sound, uh, Anne? Yeah. Each time that you see this in our label, we can guarantee this, not because we, we, I'm going to say, it, because of the process, you know, because when we set up the process, the computer all the time will be in communication with the cells, will be all the time in communication, which is just like, imagine uh, Anne is a, is a spirulina cell, you know, how are you, Anne? Are you okay? She say, I'm great. Okay, we do nothing. And uh, are you hungry? Yes, I would like to have some, some intake. Okay, so we just give Anne some intake. Maybe I talk, I talk to Carmen. How are you, Carmen? Are you okay? And Carmen say, look, I will need some light. So we just give some light to Carmen. And if Chris, you know, say, look guys, I'm going to, I need to sleep. So we just shut down the light, you know? So this is a way where you can guarantee that the quality of your product all the time is the same. And we can ensure the premium quality of the product. So if you, t you have this as a basic information, so you, you can be very safe and, and, be, and, and have a trust that what you're going to take is what is really written on the packaging. And today I think this is more critical because the regulation, you know, because of labeling, you know, it's all the time very, something we don't understand. That's the reason why we want to be transparent and bring you to our technology, bring you to our house, you know, where you can see directly where we grow and how we make uh, this fantastic superfood spirulina. And before I finish, uh, you know, all the time, somebody will tell you, imagine that you have to go to an island and you have only to take three things, you know. First, of course, I will take my wife and my kids, you know, with me. Two, maybe you will take your favorite books. But what kind of food you will take in this island? Uh, you're not going to take rice or... The only uh, today, you know, uh, food supplement that I will bring to a desert island will be spirulina, because from the nutritional uh, aspect and the fact that this is 
today considered as a superfood by NASA. Already NASA bring uh, spirulina in, in the space to, to, to feed the, uh, to, to give it as a food for astronauts, you know. The World Health Organization has already stated and, and commit that uh, spirulina is the only superfood that can eradicate um, malnutrition in, in the world, you know, from, uh, uh, so I will take this food supplement with me uh, because it's easy when I take this, I know that I have quite all the vitamin and quite all the protein that I need to have and to maintain my health. So if you have more questions, please, please you can just, uh, uh, I don't know, Anne, if uh, it's okay, but feel free to ask uh, directly to Tino or to me if you have some questions. I'd, li I'd like to insert a little something here real quick, just so everybody understands. You know, when you're talking about, when he was asking Anne, you know, if she wanted to eat, Chris, if you needed to sleep, you know, he's referring to each one of those individual containers uh, in, in the lab, each one of those little, what look like fish tanks is monitored 400 times a second for everything that, that the algae needs to make it perfect. And, uh, and what's cool about this is that, it, and we think about spirulina, you know, and they kept talking about the good stuff and the protein, just so you guys are clear, that's the phycocyanin. So the, that's when they say good stuff or, or protein, when they showed that blue stuff, that's the phycocyanin that's produced in there as well, which they said, you know, nobody can produce as much as we can because they're going in outside. So, so there's not enough growth uh, to, to be able to extract that at a reasonable price. That's why our prices are so much better on that. And just so you guys understand the big vision of this, because this isn't just spirulina and phycocyanin. This is going to be all types of health and fitness products, weight management products, skin therapy products, hair care products. It's going to be the food of the future, right? We're going to have bars that we can eat. Right? And so just know this is going to be the way that, that people get healthy and look younger and nobody else on the planet can do this because of the patents. So we'll have a totally unique line that will do everything for people as far as look, look better, feel better. Uh, be healthier, and it's all going to come from these technologies and these patents that nobody else can replicate. So you guys need to understand how big this is going to be. Well, thank you, Tim, for you know bringing it to full circle here, because I can say without a doubt from the very first time that you and I saw this, <laughs> that this was Star Trek, Star Wars, you know, the future. And I want to thank Jimmy and Tino for coming on today because I can tell you that giving everybody a firsthand view of what we have going on here is so powerful. We've been talking about it. We've been sharing it, Tino and Jimmy, in our presentations, showing people what we have to offer here. But to be able to take that tour and to physically see this and to hear it directly from you, Tino, we want to say thank you so much for being part of this today. And it's a real pleasure. Real Did pleasure. you or Jimmy have any closing remarks you want to share with us before we sign off for the day? Because I can tell you people are here vibrating in their chairs. They're so excited about the, the wonderful opportunity we have here with Zealous, the expansion that's going on here in the United States, all throughout the North American marketplace, all throughout Europe. We're really excited. So guys, if you have anything that you want to close up for today, Jimmy or Tino? Yes. I would just take the, this moment to, to really thank you, Anne, and Tim, because it's true that we are doing hard work, but you are doing the, the, the most important things, which is to bring the word, you know, to, to let people knowing that this technology exists, because without you, you know, without the work you're doing daily, because you're on the phone, Tim is on the phone making, uh, right now we have only the way to, 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 to talk to people is Zoom, you know, and, and uh, we, we want to, to thank you guys with all your work you're doing because it takes time. We know that to bring new technology to, to teach people that there's other way that we can uh, bring help, you know, uh, there's, uh, there is, uh, how to say this in, in, in English, we have an opportunity at the end, you know, that uh, it's true that we are facing a huge situation worldwide. Um, I don't like to make claims, but just go to Google, you know, and just type phycocyanin, you know, uh, spirulina, a superfood, and you will see that this will bring you, you know, um, and will maintain, you know, a, a real good health. But having said it, it's true that uh, uh, because of the work that uh, Anne is doing, because the work of uh, um, 
team and, and, and the other people who are who decide to to trust in in, in our system and in our vision. So we just wanted to, to thank you and also to thank all the people that are right now uh, today in this Zoom. You know, I know that uh, it's a moment just to be together, to, uh, to share these extraordinary uh, things that are coming and be sure that there will be more things that are coming, more excited uh, products that will be available. And right now, you know, uh, Tim, just talk about the biome, you know, that. Uh, we just finished all the, the artwork, the FDA product registration. So uh, we are printing right now the, the packaging. So, and this is going to be huge. We have extraordinary results here in, in Europe uh, because of the COVID situation. People, you know, have some uh, weight uh, uh, issue because they are all the time sitting, they cannot go outside, etc. And we do have an extraordinary uh, result from this, um, uh, this uh, symbiosis of this free product that uh, uh, you are going to discover, but I will not enclose right uh, tell more about this. Uh, this will be in another moment. But again, Anne and Tim, thank you so much for the for us to open the US because it's through you guys that you are helping us to bring this uh, fantastic product uh, to the US. So thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for being with us today, guys. Uh, this is an exciting moment here for our zealous family around the world. You've had a chance to see firsthand exactly what's going on, you know, with uh, the technology. Tim, if you have anything you want to say to close it out, and uh, over to you. You know, I mean, obviously, you guys see the big picture. You saw the post that we did in the group yesterday, talking about what the company is going to do to make sure everybody, you know, gets through this transition successfully and happy so now you've got that uh, so you've got that assurance you see now the technology that we've got and why ann and i are, are so super excited and there's so many cool products coming you have no idea so you got to just lock in and uh and start talking to people and just get as many people positioned as you can because every time these products come out the more people you have the more market share you're going to have three years five years from now 